Uh, reopening schools too soon may get some answers today. Good morning, I'm Tom Miller. Hey everyone, I'm Sally Hernandez. Welcome to KXAN News Today. Yeah, Austin ISD is voting today to possibly push back the start date from August 18th to after Labor Day. So it's a major decision that they're going to make tonight. And the district could also petition the state to keep kids at home learning virtually for the first two months. Nabil Ramadna spoke to teachers and the district about what is very much a fluid situation. There's a lot of questions, a lot of things that I think that they think they know but haven't come up. Ray Lopez Mata is a teacher in Austin and like many, he has questions about the upcoming school year. I have faith in that they, the AIT has a general good concepts, but how are you going to put them in place? Right now, AISD plans to start school on August 18th, but that could change. The district will hold a board meeting this evening to discuss whether to push classes back to September 8th. Um, and then along with that, there's also an action to submit a waiver to the Texas Education Agency that would allow for an additional four weeks of virtual learning. AISD says this is a fluid situation and they're trying to work with everyone. Lopez Mata just wants to make sure he'll be returning to a safe environment. I'm diabetic and you know, I got underlying things and I'm willing to go back, but let's make the be prudent and be smart about how you're going to ask us and what you're going to have to do. This is new territory for everyone. Teachers and parents will help mold and shape the plans. There's a lot of discussions going on and we're just trying to figure out um, the best way to safely open and um, safely educate our 80,000 students and support our teachers as well. And tonight's meeting will be held at 9 p.m. It will be a virtual meeting, of course, and AISD says they welcome all public testimony. For more information, you can go to our website, kxan.com, and click on this story. Back to you. Thanks, Nabil. You know, they're also talking about another problem. Up to 10,000 students within ISD, they could be without a digital device when online classes start. That's a big number. The district is waiting on two things to correct it. There's a possibility that vendors may not even meet delivery timelines, so they're worried about that. They're also having a hard time getting back computers, the district says, from seniors who graduated. About 2,300 graduates have not returned their Chromebooks.